the entrance and the plum. Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great. For now salvation and strength have come, and the power of his Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to our Mass online. It's always good to have you with us, and we're very happy to be here with you. It's our privilege and our pleasure to offer these Masses for you, and we're very glad you can join us. So let's begin to celebrate this Holy Mass by asking the Lord Jesus to forgive our sins. Lord Jesus, you once died for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you have risen from the dead. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you now plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the spreading of your church crown St. Peter Chanel with martyrdom, grant that in these days of paschal joy we may so celebrate the mysteries of Christ's death and resurrection as to, be, as to bear worthy witness to newness of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of the young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into, Into your hands, O Lord, Lord I, commend I commend my spirit. spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into, Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into, Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Into your, your hand, hand, O Lord, I, I commend, commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. 
The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? How and sisters ate manna in the desert, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven, for the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are reading the Gospel from the sixth chapter of John these days, a beautiful chapter on the Bread of Life Discourse. And so yesterday, uh, or the other day, Jesus fed 5,000 or more people with a few loaves of bread and a few fish. And the next day, the people came looking for him. And he says, you're looking for me not because you've seen signs, but because you had your fill of bread. In other words, you had your stomachs filled, a very physical thing. And so he engages them in conversation. And uh, today, they said, you know, our ancestors were given bread from heaven and uh, in the desert. So what sign can you work for us, Jesus? And he says, well, that bread from heaven that you receive was from Moses, and actually it was my heavenly Father that sent that bread. But I will give you a bread that will enable you to live forever. And so he says, if I can find it here, Sir, give us this bread always. And he says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Whoever believes in me will never thirst. So they want this bread that he's offering them. It seems to be uh, certainly above the bread that the ancestors of the Jews received in the desert when they had manna. Of course, you know, manna was very limited. And the minute they entered the promised land, the manna ceased. So it was a temporary thing. So Jesus says, whoever comes to me will never hunger. Whoever believes in me will never thirst. So he's inviting them to come deeper. First of all, they wanted simply to have their stomachs filled. And that was an amazing thing to them because there were over 5,000 people there and he fed them with so little. So they knew something special was going on. And um, he says, I want, you to, I want you to come to me. I want you to believe in me. Now, that's the first step. Coming to Jesus, believing in Jesus is a step. Uh, we're going to see later in the same chapter where the people here uh, begin to drift away from him after he talks about eating his flesh and drinking his blood. Now, so the first step is to come to Jesus, and they've done that. You know, they were amazed by what he did, and that attracts them. He calls them to believe in him, and then he tells them a little later in the chapter, which we'll get to in a day or two, uh, I want you to eat my flesh and drink my blood. And this is abhorrent to the people. They think he's talking about cannibalism. So they walk away. Who can stand this kind of speech? But that's what Jesus is trying to draw them to. He wants them to come deeper into a relationship, uh, more than just an outward sign, more than just uh, an amazing thing. But he wants them really to come to him. So he does more than just fill our bellies. Uh, he nourishes our souls unto life everlasting. Who wouldn't want that? Uh, these people did, but there's a, there's a price involved in that. Not that it's not free, but there's the price of coming to Jesus, believing in him, and then obeying him, eating his flesh, drinking his blood. I know right now we can't do that. We believe in Jesus, and I know right now we can't receive his body and his blood, which is very painful. We understand that. And so... We do pray the prayer for spiritual communion, and let that, for now at least, uh, be what we do to come to Jesus, to believe in him, and to receive him in our hearts, if not physically, certainly uh, in a spiritual way. It's real, 
because it speaks of our faith in the Lord Jesus. And it also, it's our way of obeying him at this time. God bless you. With grateful hearts, let us offer our petitions to our Heavenly Father. That Jesus' disciples may speak out against violence in all its forms, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the law and its servants may protect the rights of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That violence motivated by religion may cease, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the spirit of courage may sustain those who suffer discrimination because of their beliefs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be upheld in their suffering by the strength of the martyrs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who witness to Christ in life may share his glory in eternity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I'd like to add a name to our list of those who were ill. Uh, Leticia Rios of our parish who is suffering from cancer, for her well-being, for her peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, in your mercy, grant us the prayers that we ask, because you always hear us in the name of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of the Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant Church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit and perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Peter Chanel, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ the Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all you have created. Rightly give you, we rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance in your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with all the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of your reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Taylor, our Bishop, the order of bishops, and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done. done. On earth, on earth as it is, it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. It is offered to one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you, you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. I invite you please to join me in the prayer for spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart, and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks. Leave it out.